Unihertz has made another great smartphone that stands out from the crowd. This is the Unihertz TikTok E, the budget-friendly version of their TikTok phone that was earlier in the review. The secondary display, unusual design and a really, really cheap price are the main advantages of this phone, which will not leave anyone indifferent. See this TikTok E review. So let's start with the boxing. Let's see what's inside the white box. Right at the top we have this white envelope in which we find the SIM pin. There are also an additional screen protector, even though this phone comes with a pre-installed screen protector out of the box. Here is a TikTok e user guide and variant card. Ok, this is our phone, we will leave it aside for a bit. What we have here, it is a 12 watt charger. There is also a USB Type-C cable for charging and data transfer. And finally we are left with this USB Type-C to 3.5mm headphone adapter. Well, that was contains of this package, now let's go to our smartphone. As we can see the TikTok E comes dressed up in this additional black protective silicon case which is very well made and fits the phone very well. It looks great. I even thought for a second that I got the black version of the TikTok E uh, even though it only comes in this gorgeous blue color. Surely many of you will use this silicon protection for to protect your mobile phone. Here look at it, doesn't it look great? Simply original. Having this mobile phone will certainly make you stand out in the crowd. Wherever you go, this design catching the eyes. After some time, as far as the design is concerned, this mobile phone will probably survive more than a traditional smartphone. It will always be unique in this design. So on the front, we find this large 6.5 inch IPS HD display with 1600 by 720 pixel resolution with nicely rounded corners and the 8 megapixel selfie camera located in a water drop shaped notch. A well integrated speaker for calls is placed above the camera and although the lower frame is quite large, it somehow does not interfere with everyday use. On the top of the phone we find the infrared port for controlling devices, which is really rare among smartphones today, only Xiaomi models offer it. And next to it there is a secondary microphone. On the lower side there is a USB Type-C port, main microphone and a multimedia speaker. On the sides we find these beautiful metal grey frames and in which all the buttons are located. On the right side there are two volume buttons with a pleasant perforated texture and below them it's a power button that has a built-in fingerprint sensor. On the other side next to the SIM card tray there are two red buttons that add additionally functionality for the device, a really cool invention. By default the lower one has not been configured and you can do it for yourself while the upper button turns on the flashlight. On the back panel there is also the most impressive detail of this phone, it's of course the beautiful 1.28 inch 240 by 240 pixel display surrounded by a silver metal ring which reminds me of the round window of the submarine or a ship. There are two camera lenses on the each side and the LED flash above. The bags have uh, two textures, smooth and rough, which go through the center of the structure. Uh, in addition, Unihertz decided to bend all the sides, thanks to which does the smartphone feels better in the hand and gives the impression of being slimmer than it really is. The phone measures 167 by 78 by 11 millimeters and weighs 233 grams. As we already said, on the front we have this large 6.5 inch IPS HD display 
and the refresh rate of 16 Hz and 1600 by 720 pixel resolution with rounded corners and 8 megapixel selfie camera located in a water drop shaped notch with a face unlock function. Uh, the screen is bright, very pleasant to touch, fingers slide easily, has a sharp colors and wide vibrating angles which are more than great for consuming all visual content. In short, with the TikTok E in this middle age category, this is a really good display. You will get the best value for your pay. A compact and good quality screen, suitable for all media consumption, whatever you are watching videos on YouTube or browsing the web pages or reading the daily news, typing on social media or playing some games. As for the quality, it is a really good panel with the right level of brightness giving no reason to complain when it comes to wavering content on a sunny day. The existing light sensor works properly and adjusts the illumination well to the ambient conditions. The minimum backlight could be a bit, bit lower, but it's no tragedy. The colors are sharp and clean. There is even Mara Vision technology that offers additional screen tweaking capabilities. As you already know, Unihertz TikTok E is equipped with the two displays, one this standard on the front and one additional on the rear panel. The additional one, around 128 inch display, has a resolution of 240 by 240 pixels. It is quite good screen in this simplicity and it will certainly not leave you dissatisfied. This round screen has uh, many clock faces available, so I'm sure you will find the one that suits for you. It is also able to display notifications, allow you to control the music player, take a selfie with the main camera, you can even answer on or reject a call, and the compass are also available on the secondary display. However, this screen is only useful when the hold the smartphone with the screen facing down. As you know, the Unihertz TikTok E allows you to take photos or selfies using the primary 48 megapixel camera wide this screen. The main 48 megapixel camera offers the moderate details for photo shots. It has autofocus and the secondary is a 2 megapixel macro camera. It has 8 megapixel selfie camera. Video recording is fine with HD 1080 pixel resolution. This smartphone is able to record video materials with a maximum resolution of 1920 by 1080 pixel results and 30 frames per second. So it is a mid range performance camera. What results were recorded with this camera you can see for yourself in the following of this video.
Ok, after seeing the photos we can talk a little about the performance. The Unihertz TikTok E runs on Android 12 OS, offering a clean Android experience without bloatware and contains most of the features that comes with the system. The most important the presence of all Google services supports for NFC and Google Pay. All apps and tasks run smoothly because of the 4 GB of RAM and pure Android. Equipped with the MediaTek Helio P35 was produced in the 12 nanometers process and consists of the 8 core processor with ARM ARM Cortex A53 cores with a maximum clock frequency of 2.3 GHz. As you have probably noticed, this is not set that makes an uh, impression, but all in all, not everything is black. Interestingly, however, it provides a better work experience than the POCO M5 with much newer components, so it's not a problem to play less graphic demanding games either. This smartphone has complete communication possibilities with NFC for contactless payments and fast pairing. There is even a FM radio that works only after connecting the headphone dedicated 3.5mm mini jack to USB Type-C adapter. Unihertz TikTok E is one of those smartphones that not need to be recharged every day. During the test period with some average use, this battery lasts up to 3 full days of use. And we get thanks for the economical processor for that. It takes over 2 hours to full charge this 16,000 mAh battery. Unihertz TikTok E is definitely an unusual smartphone, yet it offers more to the user than the ordinary model. Most because of the slimmer, more convenient style, it is distinguished feature is not just the huge circle display, but also the rear panel, which has a nice to touch feel. Perhaps the used components is not high end, yet they are certainly enough for daily use. The advantage is very good energy management and thus is long working time on a single charge. In my scenario it is a 2 or 3 days, but I feel uh, something that the most of you will be able to use this smartphone for up to 3 days. Unihertz TikTok e has a few other shortcomings, but there is no point in talking to it seriously. If you be able to accept them, then you should be satisfied with this phone. As I said at the beginning, the smartphone will certainly catch the eyes and you will not go unnoticed with it. It is really a small design gem. The TikTok E is available on the manufacturer website for the price of a truly outstanding $199, which is more than affordable for such an impressive phone. So hurry up and grab your new TikTok E today. Quantities are limited. The official sales links are below this video. Be sure to visit them. That will be all for today. See you soon in a new video. Bye.